I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a post to Sexual Futurist. Today, I'm talking about humour and sexuality, though not from a standpoint you may have considered. I'm talking about webcomics. These webcomics, just for your reference, are comic books published exclusively online. Now, two that I'm looking at today, Menage a Trois and Least I Can Do. So let's just jump into them. Menage a Trois is a webcomic about a bunch of uh, young, young adult roommates who are living in Canada and are trying to get a handle on the awkward questions uh, about their sexuality, their identity, their performance, and their experience. And really, frankly, it's hilarious. Uh, it, also, it doesn't hesitate to take a controversial subject, take it from the point of view of someone who's more than willing to talk about it, and then just process it in, from the point of view of most people's heteronormative uh, standpoints. This is done through the, through the plot device of extremely forgiving uh, characters who know a lot more about it than the reader, or your average reader, I should say. Now, what I'm s now my second one is actually the tale of a pr very promiscuous man called Least I Could Do. Least I Could Do is a truly unique comic in that it's got an incredibly rounded angle on a guy's entire life uh, around his escapades. Mostly because he is a character that has to interact with his friends and his family. Uh, he's, take, he's looking out for his uh, niece. He's uh, being a good friend to his uh, friends that are getting married or in long-term relationships. And more importantly, if you ever thought that you couldn't make a joke about getting STD tests, well, by gosh, they succeed. However... Aside from everything else, it really does show uh, sexuality put into the context of a much bigger life, and it isn't just a one-note joke. So, this is why I brought this up on the channel, because I think that these are two great examples uh, for people that want to fish through the archives and find uh, a different take on an issue, uh, often written by people who've got good hands-on experience with those issues. Anyway, I hope this has educated everyone. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope you have a great afternoon.